number of people have asked me to explain what is exactly going on here. September 6th, 2018. Black Hawk helicopters packed with armed FBI agents swoop over the Lincoln Forest Mountains of New Mexico. Their target, not a terrorist training camp, not a drug cartel. This special SWAT team is about to raid an astronomical observatory. And my initial response, an enormous waste of US taxpayers' money. Think of the cost. Black Hawk helicopters, federal agents in flight jackets, training. Why did they do this? Well, everyone had to sign a, some kind of secrecy agreement that whatever they'd seen could not be disclosed. They treated it as if a national security breach had occurred. Is there something we should know? So that's the perplexing question. Although the US likes playing with military toys, to justify the expense of this raid and also shutting down for 10 or 11 days, the US Main Solar Observatory seems very odd. So the official statement from the FBI and government military security is somebody was doing something very naughty with their internet. Yeah? Why didn't you just drive up in a single car with an agent and uh, speak to the person? Black Hawk helicopters? Why? There appears to be a set of occurrences going on of which this seizure of this observatory is kind of the tip of the iceberg. So I think this raid, and I choose my words carefully, overkill, is a bit extreme. But did it hide something going on that the US government wanted to shut down? That's the question. Might solar astronomers have detected the first signs of change in the sun? The beginning of the end of the solar system? It's no wonder ancient people worship the sun as a god, because not only does it provide us life, but in the end, the sun could ultimately spell doom for all of Earth. So as I do, I looked at the big picture. What did they do at the Solar Observatory and what could they observe that could possibly be of national security interest to shut them down? Let me explain. Something big is about to happen on the sun. According to measurements from NASA-supported observatories, the sun's vast magnetic field is about to flip. The sun is this incredibly dynamic, complicated ball of magnetic fields. And these magnetic fields are what drive solar activity, but we can also think of the sun as one large magnet where there's a well-defined north pole and a south pole. And right now what's happening is the sun is going through this strange transition where all the magnetic fields get very, very complicated and they reorganize so that in fact the north pole becomes the south pole and the south pole is becoming the north pole. It really doesn't mean anything disastrous here on Earth for us. Um, it really is just the way things happen. The sun has been doing this ever since it's uh, been born. So it's nothing for us to really worry about. But what we are concerned about is when these solar storms interact with the Earth's magnetic field and affect our technology, because it can cause power grids to go out. It can cause problems with electronics on satellites. That's what we're concerned about. But in terms of our everyday lives, um, we're protected here on the surface of the Earth by the atmosphere on the Earth and the, and the Earth's magnetic field. So we are really not to worry in terms of our everyday lives, but if a, a large storm hits the Earth and causes the electric grid to go down, then we are kind of affected indirectly. So um, it's important to study for sure, but there's no reason to be alarmed. So now you know what they do and how the sun operates. But for me, it leaves a lingering question. Often science of UFOs and strange things is far too US-centered. There is no reason 
why the United States of America Solar Observatory would see something that would be any different from these solar observatories in Europe and the rest of the world. I've learned by knowing and closely working with these fine men and women astronomers that they are the one science that is bigger than national boundaries. There is no point in keeping a secret in the United States if you're going to see it in South Africa or China or France. Things are bigger than the world. You're looking at stuff millions of miles away. Why would you keep it secret? And in fact, they want to share information. If something really strange and possibly was going to affect the national security of the USA, they couldn't keep it quiet because astronomers share information. Whatever is going on in the sun affects our planet. The truth is really out there.